is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. And this is a huge snapping turtle. Let's get right into it and see what we can find. <laughs> We are back out at Echo Lake Beach Swimming Area to clean out everything that doesn't belong here and make the swimming area a little safer. Our first lead fishing weight. Check it out. It's like a billion of our fish friends. They are happy because we're cleaning out stuff that is harmful to them. Second lead fishing weight. Another one bites the dust. Another fishing weight. And you guessed it, another one. This video will have treasure in it. Kinda. Although a bit different from the norm, it's about making something better than it was before you got there. Turning things back into treasure and protecting the things that we can protect so that they are there for the next generations. For example, how much lead slash fishing weights do you think I find in each swimming area that I detect and clean up? Pause the video, put an estimate in the comments on how many pounds you think that we'll pull out of here. Well, this video, I've actually included the first four days we were here. We will take a little look into how many pounds I usually take out. As I find some more of these, let's talk a bit about why it's important to get these out of ponds, lakes, rivers, and streams. When lead fishing weights and lead bullets get into the waterways, they have a huge negative impact on everything. An estimated 3,000 tons of lead are shot into the environment by hunting every year. Another 80,000 tons are released at shooting ranges, and 4,000 tons are lost in our waterways as fishing lures and sinkers. Now I hunt and fish, I've used lead and still do, however, I've been switching over to safer for the environment items like sinkers and bullets that are steel or copper. What happens once lead gets into our waterways? The animals can ingest the lead, but even if the animals don't eat them, the lead breaks down over the years and leaches into the waterways, and then you drink it. Did you know just in the U.S., each year, 10 to 20 million animals die from lead poisoning. In addition to these individual deaths, lead has negatively affected populations of birds, most notably condors, bald eagles, and loons, to name a few. Of course, it's not just birds that can be affected. Our fish and turtle friends often ingest lead thinking they are eating a tasty treat. Animals that eat fish, birds, and turtles that have lead poisoning can also be affected if they eat enough. Then, all of us humans can also be affected by eating any of the above that has had a higher than normal lead in their system. There's no safe amount of lead exposure. Now a side note, I don't want to scare anyone. It is rare for humans to develop lead poisoning from eating the meat of infected animals. However, if you eat enough, or young children especially, it can be harmful. Often the first signs of lead poisoning is finding dead animals. When affected animals are observed, 
They show signs of central nervous system damage. They may cease grazing, appear dull, and unresponsive. They may walk aimlessly or become blind. In some cases, these symptoms are accompanied by muscle twitches, paralysis of the tongue, circling, and stargazing. What can we all do to make a difference? Switching the type of bullets or fishing gear can make a big difference. Also, make sure if you see fishing gear in or around the waterways or the ground, pick them up. Our animal friends will thank you for helping them out. I'll stop talking through the last few fishing weights that we find here. We will then get a count and weight of everything. You will be shocked. I was.
Let's take a look at how many lead weights we pulled out of here and how many pounds. Hello everyone. Let's take a look at how many fishing weights we took out of Echo Lake. There were like six unfired lead bullets and a hook with a weight on it. If you look closely, all of these small little specks are individual fishing weights from really small to really big and everything else in between we took it all out just look at them all it's pretty crazy to think this probably isn't even one percent of the fishing weights that are in there I stopped counting at a thousand so over one thousand that was just fishing weights and a few bullets I was here at Echo Lake for a total of seven days this year. This was just from the first four days there. I found a lot more after this. The other days I did find plenty of jewelry and coins, along with all kinds of other stuff. Now let's weigh everything and see how many pounds we got out of here. Well, that's a lot just over eight pounds this isn't the worst one that i've cleaned out but it also isn't the best i normally pull out between five pounds to 25 pounds of lead with every swimming area that i've cleaned out in the past most of that is fishing weights bullets however i also find dive weights and batteries among other things Three bald eagles were just brought in to Avian Haven. Unfortunately, one died. The other two are clinging on to life, all because of lead poisoning. I promised you treasure, so here it is. You can't say that I didn't warn you at the beginning of the video. It's going to be a little bit different treasure today. This is the treasure that I'm fighting for. I appreciate you watching, liking, and sharing out the videos. It makes a huge difference in YouTube getting my content out to other people. Thank you. Love you. Until the next time, AEW out.